All right, everyone. Welcome to this week's episode of the Rooftop Pod. I am your host Jesse, and joining me today is my sister Rachel and my brother Andrew. Ooh, wow, it's windy. it's windy. Yeah. And on today's episode, we are going to talk about the issues with modern dating. Dun dun dun. Ooh. 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 So I think a lot of modern dating now is done over dating apps. So with dating apps, you can like basically access like a wider pool of people way more people who like are a huge... looking too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wait, what was that? <laughs> no, because in the real world, like you don't know who's like open to start. Oh, yeah. yeah, you like you literally have to go up yeah. and ask, "Are you single?" Yeah, kind and of that's thing. like way more intimidating. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. true. That's true. Yeah, with online dating, you just have a much wider pool of of people that you could potentially date. But with that wider pool comes with wider problems. <laughs> what? I mean, this yeah. Is so bad. This is so bad. <laughs> this is so good. What are you talking about? I've never yeah. been so perplexed by casual relationships. Yeah. Like, to be honest, Andrew and I have talked about this. I don't think yeah. the either of us are, are super built. capable of doing casual relationships. Do in fact, like, or like balancing multiple casual relationships. Oh, well, no, no, no. I don't think I can. Yes, that yeah. I cannot do that. But also, just logically, like in my head, if you're casually yeah. dating someone, you're kind of just setting yourself up to be hurt because you're getting, you're casually like getting to know somebody, and then mm-hmm. as you spend more time with that person, you, grow more you get grow more attached. And if it doesn't turn out to be something serious because you're only casually seeing them, when it ends, it's gonna hurt. Mm. Yeah, but. Do the pros outweigh the the, the cons yeah. of getting hurt? Because so it's like you get so many more experiences and memories out of it. Like does with that like length of time? Yeah, yeah with someone that you enjoy spending time with, mm. but only in that context. Yeah. Like does that experience, like positive experience, outweigh, outweigh the hurt, hurt, the hurt that you experience after yeah. being separated? I think there's two sides of this coin because like it always ends up being unequal. Like one person likes mm. the other person mm-hmm. more, where the person who doesn't like the other person as much will end up coming out unscathed and only with positive experiences well i don't think necessarily not really. unscathed not unscathed like, but like they, less yeah. hurt you yeah know? Well, I don't, but uh, i feel like in any breakup no. there's always someone who's less hurt than the other that's true uh, sometimes it, 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 can, it can definitely be equal yeah. but yeah i do think most of the time one person's more hurt than the other yeah yeah because there's always someone who yeah. does the breaking up that person ends up not being as hurt because Mm. they've decided it <laughs> i don't know being the one to end it is also hurt. okay not <laughs> it also not necessarily sucks. always yeah. true yeah yeah, yeah yeah but i think generally it hurts more being broken up with i actually i kind of want to debate that because yeah when you break up with somebody you have to you carry be like the guilt the guilt oh, or like yeah yeah just the did i do the right thing like mm-hmm. oh my god like what if i didn't mm-hmm. because you had the choice I'm not saying mm. that this is easier or harder, but I'm saying like this is just another layer that another the person who breaks up, thing. Yeah, yeah, has to think about. Versus if you're broken up with, you can go with the mentality of just like, okay, not really, but like fuck you, like you didn't like me anyways, yeah. and like yeah. there was no like it's easier to process, yeah, maybe. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. easier to get over. Yeah, there's no like, oh, did I do the right thing or not? Because it's, you didn't have a choice. In yeah, it. yeah, it's like yeah. okay, I need to move on. There's no yeah. feeling. I mean, there's still feelings of regret. Like, what could I have done differently That's to cause true. them to yeah, not yeah. break up with me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, there's mental obstacles you have to overcome on yeah. both sides. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know if one's definitively easier than the other. Yeah. Um, especially if you break up with someone that you actually really care about yeah. still. Because yeah. then it's like, that typically did I case, make? Yeah. yeah, it usually is. It's the like case you see yeah. an incompatibility, right. but you're still like, but you're like, I really care about this person. person. Yeah. And so you have to think about, damn, did I make the right choice? Like yeah. months later. And especially with like relationships, it's like, if you care about the person, you generally still want them in your life. But with mm, relationships, it's like, mm, is that you can possible? like responsibly yeah. have a person in your life? Still. Yeah. Yeah. Um, although some people try, and I don't. So what do you guys think about people staying friends with their exes? Because I feel like it's okay and very feasible if you're not in a new relationship. But once you're in another relationship, but you're still friends with your ex, that's when it becomes problematic. I don't think. Sorry, this is not targeted (laughs) at all. I was just like, Uh, hypothetically, hypothetically, 
don't think you can. Uh, I think you can I think be it acquaintances, and I think you can be on good terms. Mm-hmm. But that's about it. Just because I don't think it's fair to the new relationship that you're going to be in. And then while you're not in a relationship, why even stay friends if you're trying to move on to? Mm-hmm. So I'll give you this hypothetical situation. Say you dated someone, but then it was really short. It was really brief. And you quickly realized that you only wanted to be friends with mm-hmm. them. And mm-hmm. then you built an entire friendship after ending that thing and just decided to be platonic. So then you guys had like, a couple years of just being a platonic relationship. Mm. And then you started dating someone more seriously and like you're in a serious relationship now, but you're f- still friends with the person you Talk briefly had a relationship with, but then had the most, the uh, majority of the relationship was just a friendship, mm. but you had a history mm-hmm. of dating for like a mm-hmm. quick yeah. second. I Is it okay to still be friends with that friend? I think Andrew, you've told me about one of your friends who like tried dating another yeah. friend and then they realized very quickly like, they were just oh, friends, this right? is not it. I was about it. to say yeah. like, a couple of my friends did that successfully, so I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, I think time frame also matters because if agree. it was a brief stint in like elementary school, middle school, or even high school, it's not <laughs> elementary that school. serious. Yeah. Oh, dude, people were dating okay. like fourth, fifth no, grade. That's true. true. Okay, true. fine. Yeah. But in your adult life, because I think this okay, is what say the it's hypothetical in a, yeah. is In an adult for. life, yeah. But what is adult life? Okay, post college. Like post co- yeah. Or okay. post getting into college. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure. okay, okay. Yeah. Um, what if it was a high school relationship that carried into college? And then you guys became friends after that? That's a long That's a long relationship. Yeah. I'm thinking about already. something like more brief. Like you guys dated and quickly realized like, mm. it was you're only meant one to be month, friends. Like, yeah, like you tried it. Situationship thing, and then like, and they're like this, ain't oh, it. this ain't it. Like, I think we're that's just fine. Friends. I actually yeah. think you're it's okay. fine, yeah. And I also yeah. think, like... I think it all boils down to trust. Yeah, like, you just have to... say the same thing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Dang. Mm-hmm. Sorry, you wow. say it now. <laughs> so, I think I, it all boils down <laughs> to trust. <laughs> the thing is, so I, I think... I stole your words. <laughs> to me, it actually depends on the situation. Like, if your partner is okay with it, yeah. then absolutely, you still be friends. Like, who yeah. cares mm-hmm. what other people yeah. perceive or project onto mm-hmm. your relationship? But if your partner is not okay with it, I think it's your duty to respect their standards for relationships. And be like, I'm not going to be friends with this person because yeah. my partner doesn't want yeah. Yeah. me or to be. Or if it's like, or if that relationship is like truly that important to you. Because like, mm-hmm. if it's like a mm-hmm. person that you've been close with for a long mm-hmm. time as just friends, mm-hmm. then it's like, is this new person worth like sacrificing this mm-hmm. other relationship oh, for? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Like I would want, like if I felt uncomfortable about a person in my partner's life, I would want them to have the res- enough respect to be like, oh, I'll stop hanging out with this person because you feel uncomfortable by it. Yeah. Mm. Like I would want that situation for myself. So I think I would want to afford my partner the same courtesy. Yeah. So that's my thing. Like if my partner is like not okay with it, then I'm also, because I respect her mm. thoughts and feelings, I would also not yeah. be okay with that. No, that's fair. fair. That's yeah. fair. What were we talking? Oh, we were talking about how Andrew and I, and I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is, because I think I, I've given it a shot before, Mm. but I was uncomfortable by it. Like it felt not comfortable. Do you think this is because of how mom and dad Dad raised us? Yeah, definitely. We were guilt. (laughs) Yeah, it's definitely a religious guilt. You only date to marry yeah Yeah. Yeah. let's talk about intention i remember being Mm -hmm. 16 at a pool party and my friends were talking about (laughs) who they like thought were cute who they wanted to date and i so confidently said that i only wanted to date if i want to marry that person with confidence i said it with my chest i (laughs) I said with my chest (laughs) i was a guy age at 16 i was just like if i date somebody (laughs) i'm gonna marry her yeah that's i that ohio christian mentality i came into college i was known as the kid on our freshman floor as the christian as as the guy who was like i'm gonna find my wife here in college the first person i date i'm gonna i had this whole timeline set out i was like (laughs) i'm finding someone that i want to marry my freshman year Mm -hmm. we're gonna date throughout college Mm -hmm. right before med school i'm gonna get married to her or get engaged get married and then (gasps) settle down have kids Man, how that, did my oh, life turn oh, that out so not, different? That's that so did not crazy. At all. But I told my freshman yeah. floor this. I was like, "This is Your what I'm looking for." Your freshman floor. Yeah, well, I was like, "Yeah, to I'm get looking to clowned on." Yeah, <laughs> nerd. I think I think I told <laughs> one person, and Dang. then they ended up telling they everyone. Told else. Everyone. Yeah, actually, no, no, I shouldn't Dang. say that because it's really beautiful that does happen to you, and that's your situation. Yeah, no, oh, I'm yeah, jealous of people who have that situation. It's funny because of how Jesse turned out. 
like yes. how, how how so off plan so, things went. So, <laughs> so different things turned out. Because I was talking to my friends, and Ooh. they've been dating since freshman year. They had this situation, see, Aww. but they got married yeah. after med school. But they had this situation, and they're like, we literally grew up with each other. Like oh, we that's dated, cute yeah. as hell. That's and they're cute. like, really I. And the confidence at which they're be like, I can't imagine life with anyone else except for this oh, person. Damn. Like they don't, they have an That's unwavering so confidence yeah. in their relationship because they're like, we don't know how to talk, date anyone else besides each other. <laughs> it's too late. Because like we've only dated, they were this each. This is the only uh, option. At yeah, this, point. this is like yeah. we can't. I don't know how to date anyone else yeah. besides this person at this point. So they can like unwaveringly say that this is my person because yeah. they grew up together. Whereas now <laughs> with cry. modern, yeah. now with modern dating, so cute. Yeah. it's like so difficult because you become a person independently mm. where like mm. it's really, I think this is where the root of a lot of commitment issues come from because mm. it's hard huh. to commit to someone when you're so independent and you've yeah. lived life independently yeah it's hard to be like oh this person is the one because there's so many other independent people out there that can also fit in at this point because there's no perfect fit at this point oh this is super interesting interesting. and we talked about Mm. this like Mm. i had a really long conversation with them i was like at what point were you like this is the one they're like we didn't know anything else and we couldn't imagine like even trying to date someone else besides each other super interesting Uh, Interesting. so they're like yeah there's like no doubt in our heads that we were supposed to be together i I was like like, wow there's something that's possible for me anymore that's so comfortable about like growing up with people Mm -hmm. or like people who have seen you grown and like know who you were before the person that you Mm -hmm. are now Mm -hmm. and they have had like a hand in like shaping shaping you you. yeah they literally yeah shaped each other to be compatible only with each other or each other yeah. and i'm just like I, I was actually kind of jealous i was like man i yeah. wish i had that like i yeah. wish i had you that followed person through with that, your freshman year plan. yeah if i fo- <laughs> followed through with my freshman yeah. year i mean i just didn't find someone that's yeah, the that's hopkins class of 2018 oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Damn. Oh but that does I bring me on a that. on a separate oh. tangent um because i realized i had this conversation with somebody of Mm -hmm. how i feel close to somebody is uh, i was having a conversation with um one of my friends and the way that we felt close to somebody was very different where she was close to somebody because of if they shared the same values she's like i feel like i become Mm -hmm. really close with you Mm -hmm. for me like values are kind of a given but yeah i don't feel really really close to someone unless they have similar life experiences that's how i feel I as agree. Somebody. yeah maybe um, not so life experiences but the same reflections out of different life experiences mm, like the same con- mm. okay yeah Draw the yeah, same yeah. conclusions yeah yeah because yeah. our i don't i can get close with someone who weren't wasn't raised in midwest ohio yeah yeah, 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 yeah. of course yeah. but like but there is a different kind of in, understanding yeah, yeah, yeah american up and like a non color, yeah. Like yeah predominantly like white, white urban yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're, I can become close with people who grew up in a city and like on the <laughs> East Coast too. I can be friends with people who grew up on a farm in the middle of nowhere too. No, but it definitely <laughs> helps. Yeah, I'm about yeah, I'm having, having similar like childhoods. Definitely is a it's a big yeah. connecting point. Yeah. Because like okay, because that's this might sound really bad, but I don't think I can be close with somebody because at this point, really? right? Well, like okay, in a romantic no, 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 I setting can. or in like a platonic? Oh, in friendship. Okay. In any setting because okay, okay. Um, really interesting not really? just because because for me to get because i can get close with somebody really quickly okay if they have similar life like circumstances mm, like it clicks to, yeah, yeah it clicks but like within like a week or like a couple of days of talking to this person i'm like holy shit we have so many like similar life backgrounds like i feel like we've known each other for a really long time and for me to get really close with somebody who didn't have similar life experiences i have to spend a lot of time with them it's not going to be like holy it's shit quick yeah. and yeah. at this point in my life it's really hard to spend a lot of time with, with somebody yeah, that i develop, don't know yeah. so i'm <clears throat> in college like i became really close with a ton of people who didn't mm-hmm. have similar life experiences because yeah. we were living in the same floor right you guys had around time to develop yeah. that yeah. we were, yeah. had same. enough time yeah. to live together and now in new york with everybody doing their own thing like living their own adult life time it's is a really commodity, hard yeah. to like yeah. spend that time to foster really Dude, strong there is no time in new york so it's not that it's like 
actually physically possible that I can't get close with somebody who doesn't have similar life experiences. But at it's this just point that in your it's life, really hard. Yeah. The barrier is much higher. Yeah. yeah, is what I'm saying. Mm. Interesting. Is that There's problematic? So many barriers nowadays. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if it's problematic, but just like because then you're, it's like is, yeah. Oh, maybe it is your, because your you're life view is like only impacted by people who have Similar. different perspectives. Mm, you know, that is echo true. chamber. Yeah, yeah, that's true. No, that's but like a good you point. do want to date someone with similar values, so like that's not yeah. like. Mm, but similar that's values that's doesn't thing. have to come from life similar life experiences. Yeah, yeah. 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 I had a thought. Mm. Thoughts are really hard to think right now. Yeah, something about modern. D- oh yes. Like dating in your like twenties or late mid twenties, <laughs> dating in your mid twenties yeah. to late twenties. <laughs> no, 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 just mid twenties. Yeah, yeah, just mid twenties. Yeah, mid-20s. I'm still mid twenties. What is what Boy, is defined oh. as late twenties? Uh, it's I would like to know. Because like early twenties <laughs> is, is the threshold. Twenty to twenty three, mm-hmm. and then mid twenties is twenty four to twenty six. Whoa, wait, that's an unequal gap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come yeah, yeah. on. But 27 is just three times nine. <laughs> it's probably like 26 and a half then. Never mind. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Age is, Age is just a, a number. number. <laughs> um, what I was trying to say, this is not related to what I was trying to say, but dating like later in your life, you've already dated other people and you've met a lot of people at that point in your life. Mm. So you know there's a lot of different types of people out there. Mm-hmm. And choosing to commit to one at that point is really hard. Whereas mm. people who started dating like early in college or even in high school, they haven't met that many people yet. And yeah. they haven't like, they it, haven't dated it that many people at yet. the older you become. Because like yeah. the indecision is the analysis paralysis because you have so many yeah. people to choose. Every even time I walk apps. into a restaurant with like more than yeah. four oh pages. <laughs> Imagine going to a restaurant and there's only one item. Like obviously you're going to commit <laughs> yeah. and choose yeah, that one yeah, item. Yeah. That's like dating in high school because like, there's, there's only, only so many. <laughs> I'm just saying, there's a lot less. Yeah, we like, went to a it's, massive high school. Yeah, a thousand people. Right, but the people that we girl. could possibly <laughs> date was like. Uh, okay, it was a short yeah, list. I, it, it, no, that makes that sense. compared yeah, 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 to yeah, the yeah. infinite people on dating apps. Yeah. Yeah. On dating yeah. apps and like and just, being older and knowing yeah. like so many more yeah, things just, about yeah. people. Like committing at that mm. stage is so much easier, and like growing up with that person once you've committed to them is like it's too late. Um, after this a might be point. a little offensive. <laughs> why why are you always trying to say offensive things? Because I don't know if you'll I think this that's offensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like once you get older, like the options also start dwindling because people start getting cuffed. Oh, that's too. also true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why would so that be like, offensive? I don't, I don't know. Just, just no, don't know. no. The thing is, for a guy, as you get older, your dating pool increases. For a girl, it decreases. Whoa, yeah, low key. Because it's like uh, it's like society. I think you got, want to well, date no, no. younger. It's socially acceptable for a guy to date someone younger, where it's like less common for a girl to date younger. But would you? I mean, yeah, like, well, within or like, a certain limit, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like, I would date someone two or three years younger than me. For oh, thinking, like, so um, do you think the 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 age, like? It's less common for a it's guy like to date certain. someone two to so three the older. range like increases as you get older, so therefore there are proportionally like, it proportionally is to the women who are getting cuffed. <laughs> oh <laughs> god, this is so a, much math. Some math. <laughs> eligible women. Because like, uh, let's uh, get the stats out on no, no, this. No, no, I, I get what uh, you're saying because yeah. a girl who just graduated from or like uh, someone who's like 22, like a mm-hmm. girl. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of girls who are in their early 20s want to date a guy. This is a massive generalization. But He's like, a little bit or, or, older. Yeah, like yeah. a couple years older, more established in the field, or like more. Yeah, because guys to that. also are just like slower to mature. Yeah, that's and, what oh, another yeah. thing I was going to mm. say. Um, Sorry, I keep stealing your words. No, 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 I'll let no, you no, speak them now. You're good. You're good. <laughs> um, so I was saying Jesse's math of guys' pool, like. That's just like a general thing that people yeah. say. Like guys' dating pool gets bigger as they grow older. Oh, I didn't know that this was a saying. It was, it's I, like I a saying. The, and yeah. women dating pools My get smaller as they grow dad older. Dad said the same mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, to I think I, girls have told me yeah. that. Mm-hmm. It's just like also as guys get older, they become more mature and they have more money. <laughs> So they their ability to like settle down and like uh, yeah. Yeah. provide is true. just that capability increases. So I think guys who are older are more ready to date than guys who are younger. Mm. 
from a maturity standpoint, from a resource standpoint, I think that's generally true. Okay. No, that's fair. That's yeah, fair. that's fair. Um, yep. Whereas I think women are more mature from an earlier, much earlier, much earlier age. And like, unfortunately, the societal standards for women are more physical than mm, maturity. Yeah. So. Oh, let's yeah. fix that. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> let's not do you. that. Women can't fix that. <laughs> Only men can fix that. Damn, men of the world. Wow, damn, that <laughs> is Calling change. all men in the world. Um, Just do. <laughs> huh? Do change. <laughs> do oh, do okay. change. Just, but also just, just don't change. still. <laughs> yeah, but also just don't. Um, just don't do what you're already doing and just do the things that you're not already doing. <laughs> <laughs> the one last thing that I wanted to talk about, I think Rachel put this on the list of subjects. Oh, do you care? Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Rachel, you introduced um, the topic. How much do you care about people's perceptions of you and how much are you aware of mm -hmm. other people's mm -hmm. perceptions of you? Because mm -hmm. I think why I wanted to talk about this is especially in my internship, I've mm -hmm. been very like keen or aware of like how other people might be perceiving me because mm. these are all people that are perceiving me for the first time. Like, mm. I don't know anyone mm. in the company. I don't know any of the that new interns. Yeah. yeah. Like with first impressions, mm -hmm. um, especially with like higher ups who, cause I'm at a stage where like, maybe this could result in some kind of return offer or mm -hmm. like my performance. Oh, this, yeah. My performance this summer, mm -hmm. like has weight on what happens in my future and like my future career. Mm. Um, I didn't whereas, know that was the impetus of this whoa, thought process. Okay, okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah. this is like, this, yeah. I, I really value this company. Mm. And the um, impression they have on you. Yeah, 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 exactly. So I've been like incredibly aware of it. And I have been, I have cared a lot about how other people <laughs> oh. see me. And which is why I was talking to Andrew yesterday. Yeah, I was yeah. like, I think my manager thinks I'm so stupid and probably thinks I'm so probably dense. But yeah. It's fine. If you sat you... in on that conversation, <laughs> you probably would have been like, "I don't know." This girl is so I, stupid. I, but like, he knows like um, what you yeah. know and what you don't know. Right? Because I, I was in the does. same shoes yeah. as you my junior year, and my manager was explaining some very complicated statistics, and I didn't. But you shit. had another person. Was, yeah, that's true. Yeah, well, there was another. Mm, mm. Sometimes she was not there, and it was just me being lost. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, but no. But my manager asked me questions and asked yeah, me tough, to like answer things, like things you that he proposes pimped. me. That happens um, in the hospital a lot. Yeah, and I was just What's like fully not ready. Hmm? Pimp? Pimped. We That's call it getting pimped here. by oh, by like attending. So like oh. doctors will ask med students like medical questions just to yeah. test their knowledge wow and we call I that pimping that. yeah oh, oh it's, it's terrible yeah because you get put on the spot in front of all the residents yeah. in front of the patients sometimes yeah and if you don't know the answer it's pretty embarrassing yeah, yeah. so that's like how i felt yeah um like during one conversation that i had and like afterwards i was trying to calm myself down i was like rachel it's not that big mm. of a deal like you literally have never learned this topic yep. but they were really simple questions <laughs> no but they <laughs> the guy makes it sound simple because he's been in this no, profession it was for just years. like imagine what will happen to this if you push this and oh. i was just like oh. it'll stay in place <laughs> The key uh, it to makes those? this shape and he's like no think again and i go it makes uh. this shape and he goes no <laughs> and i go Man, that's exactly oh. what pimping is i was like i was just like I i'm sorry i don't know like in my head like i think i second guess myself a lot and mm. like i try to use logic but like usually usually my instinct is right but i never trust my instinct oh yeah i think I think your managers just want to know your thought process. So, like, did he ask no. you to explain why you thought? Oh, no. <laughs> just pimping they were them. very simple questions. Dang. But yeah, again, so well, I've been like very. Well, they couldn't that simple if you kept getting it wrong. No. That means there I'll are a lot show of you. I'll show you afterwards. Like, do you think I would get them as a non-civil engineer person? You might. I'm just really bad oh. at like picturing how things will move when oh. they're in motion. So I'm oh. like dynamics it's is just not my thing. Oh, okay. It's okay. like a physics concept, right? I've gotcha. never been really good at dynamics, and he was like, okay. oh. Dynamics was my best module in school, <laughs> and he's British, so he said module and not subject. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like, and I think module? part of that is also because I think I perceive people with British accents as being more a little more 
No, no eloquent? not intelligent, but like oh, more critical? condescending. Uh, oh, yeah. So like when they that. say things, it sounds like much more pish posh, you know? Oh, yeah. Like more and elitist. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And so like, I was just like, I don't want to <laughs> die right now. <laughs> I don't want to be here. And mind you, this was like, I think our conversation ended at like 620. I was supposed to be out of the office by 530. Oh, wow. That was yeah. a long conversation. Um, yeah. Why did he pimp you for so long? That's weird. Oh, because he likes, like, he really loves the, the sub, like, module. Oh, the module. So he just <laughs> he loves, loves talking, talking about, about it. it. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, oh, I do well, that to my undergrads yeah. sometimes. Stop. And their undergrads don't like nothing. Oh, I know they don't like it, but I want them to be able to understand these concepts. And, yeah. like, I explain. I'm not, like, I don't do it in front of other people. But yeah, sometimes this I didn't like, happen in front of other people, but we have like an open concept yeah, uh, office. office. So there were other people that were around and I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh but the thing is, gosh. sometimes yeah. as like as like a grad student, you, I forgot how little I knew as an undergrad. So like I just mm. assume that they when you've been in a field for so long, like you just assume everyone has that level of knowledge. Yeah. So it can really easily come off as like, oh, you're dumb, but oh, you're you not actually this? dumb. You're just yeah. like. You just haven't been, I just, you, you're an undergrad. Yeah. You've only been in yeah. this field for so many years and like, yeah. Yeah. you just don't know like, things yet. Well, I was trying to tell myself afterwards, I was like, mm-hmm. you literally have not learned this yet. Yeah. Like, don't be that hard on yourself. Yeah. But again, there were very simple <laughs> questions. Well, ho- hopefully this guy has that, at least that <laughs> level of understanding that you're coming in with like no experience. Because yeah. like, even though they're simple, like if your brain is taught to think about these patterns and these spatial, I don't know, like, problems Mm -hmm. like you've thought about them so quick so much that these kind of simple problems are intuitive and they're intuitive because you've thought about them for so long you've never had to think in this way until this internship so yeah hopefully he has that level of understanding that this is all very new to you and being put on the spot is makes the problem infinitely more difficult yeah i cannot answer anything on the spot it's so bad Mm -hmm. yeah yeah that's why pimping is brutal it's actually starting to be looked down upon in the medical field to like put medical students in that position because it's like Mm. it's embarrassing when you get questions wrong in front of patients and residents and other med students like it's not and some some only takes one some attendings really just do it to like for their own pride and ego yeah interesting yeah Yeah. surgeons love doing it but luckily in surgery patients are asleep so at least you don't have to embarrass yourself in front of the patient that's interesting i didn't care about being perceived as dumb in my internship yeah and it's just like i'm happy being perceived as dumb (laughs) i i don't know why but like this very similar things happened to me maybe not Mm -hmm. the exact circumstance but i also had a manager who grew up in london um oh and was columbia masters in statistics very very smart Mm -hmm. yeah i will say like that team at pwc might have been like one of the smartest teams i ever worked with um but like he would oh and you didn't feel uncomfortable being no not at all i I feel like like massive (laughs) imposter syndrome right now like Mm. everyone is so well established in my department Mm. like they all have or the vast majority of them have masters from like the top programs in the country you'll get there yeah i think it's i mean the main (laughs) difference i realize is that you really want to be in this space I yeah give a fuck about <laughs> that's fair yeah that's you fair. care Aunt rachel oh, cares way more about how <laughs> she performs in this space yeah. at all <laughs> that's interesting yeah so i think yeah yeah, yeah it's different situation different with situations mm-hmm. yeah. i actually thought you put that in there because um you're now being perceived on the internet and oh, the hyper yeah. awareness of yeah. yourself and how you present I think yourself that's also, yeah yeah part of it too becomes an issue when you put yourself on the internet that's when i started thinking about it more like how i cut up clips how i like mm. present myself and listen when i'm listening back to myself like i'm often like oh i ill like i hate how i sound and like mm. i hate like these topics i'm talking about i'm so cringe i think that a lot now whereas before I i'm never, so cringe i've never <laughs> had a thought about like being cringy being i never really thought about it yeah i was like i've never had to listen to myself talk but now i listen yeah. to myself talk so, so much often, i'm just like yeah. wow this guy is so to you. incredibly <laughs> cringe so i have to like cut so much when i'm <laughs> editing sometimes um and that hyper awareness yeah. only came when i like had to put myself audience be internet. grateful you don't have to listen to everything jesse said I'm just, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding um but yeah that's why i thought you were you had put that yeah that's down. the route no, but that's I was also, gonna go to yeah because i actually i was gonna answer 
it one way because I uh, I'm not gonna lie I care a lot about what people think about me yeah. mm-hmm. but not at all in the workplace or office so when you yeah. brought that up I thought about like because when you're like oh I like this is my first time meeting all these co-workers I na- never like second thought how I like acted came across when I like went into a new job because I've been in three new jobs since mm. graduating right. every time I started a new job I'm just like what's up guys um, I, yeah I, I don't think it's because we perceive like yeah. jobs very differently yeah I think yeah. so too I don't that I don't care about the job I'm in now but yeah I feel like I don't really care about my impression with new people I meet unless I like know mm. something about them already mm. and I'm like oh I need to make a good impression on this oh, yeah. which is in your this case, is yeah. My case but yeah. I'm like meeting people that are there are my peers or like I don't know just strangers for the first time I'm pretty confident mm. and like sure of who I am of my personality and of my character yeah. where if they don't get along with me then that's a dumb yeah. problem it's yeah. just Not like, like a vibe problem. check yeah thing, it's yeah. like uh we just weren't meant to be friends that's yeah. and that's totally fine like not everyone's supposed to be compatible so i don't worry too much about that unless it's for like like something that forwards my career in your case mm-hmm. especially or like something that an important person that i'm meeting like a future like i don't know father-in-law or something mm. those oh, impressions matter that's a lot true, that's right? true, that's true. Mm-hmm. um but generally like if i'm meeting some stranger or like first impressions with like people who are my peers i don't mm. generally care too much mm. especially if you're just trying to make friends like you're you want to be as naturally yourself as yeah. possible mm-hmm. if you're trying to make friends. Like friends you don't want to yeah. put up a false like impressive first impression yeah. that you yeah. can't keep up like yeah. for the rest of your yeah. relationship with that person or mm-hmm. group of people that's fair um yeah i think you'll i i think you have a a personality that's very easy to get along with i would be very surprised if anyone is like oh i hate rachel like i can't <laughs> get rachel. along because you're not like a super polarizing person yeah. or like yeah a very, i'm also very much so a people pleaser yeah like yeah. you want people to like you and generally people like yeah. people who Wait, want Jesse, people. are you like that I, know I'm a, I can both, like, be a little bit yeah. of a pushover. Like, I I think for a period of my life, especially in pushover. college, <laughs> people please. <laughs> whoa. whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, we call them the same thing. Andrew says no a lot. Yeah, yeah. like, I struggled yeah. to say no in college a lot. Like, I would just, like, volunteer myself <laughs> for so many things whoa. that I know I didn't want to do. Whoa, 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 but, like, whoa. people wanted yeah. my help, and I would just say yes. Yeah, I think it's, like, hard to turn down people who want help that you care about and mm-hmm. are, like, oh, Even they're going to struggle if that I do I not. I don't really yeah. care about, <laughs> like, if they ask me to help them out That's with something, true, I yeah. struggle this to say true. no. I just this don't know how bad. to say no. Like, yeah. I just don't want to hurt people's feelings. I don't want people yeah. disliking me. Yeah. And, like, uh, that's yeah. something you have to do or learn in the workplace yeah i will say Just that's a say very no. valuable skill i learned in consulting yeah how to say no to things yeah. i'm if still you not say good yes, at it they'll but... just give you more work uh-huh. yeah actually i take that back i'm still not very good at this being on yeah. an internet i i mean i think a lot of people are more sensitive to other people's perception i how do you feel? i care i don't actually care what other people think of me i care about what i think of myself Okay, like that is true because I was gonna say the only comments that actually affect me are the ones that I think are true too. Mm. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because if someone mm-hmm. critiques me and I don't think it's true, I don't really. Yeah, care. I don't really. Care. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. if true. someone critiques me and I it's have like that insecurity, that, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, that would kind of affect yeah, me. like yeah, because then you're just being validated in your insecurities, yeah, which exactly. does not feel yeah. good. Like if yeah. someone calls me ugly and stupid on the internet, I'm like, okay, Cute. engagement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I don't know. I can't think of something that. Oh, I've had to take down a couple videos because the comments were like very targeted at something that I was either going through at the moment or yeah. mm. <laughs> or like I was uh, still a little bit insecure about. So. Mm. <laughs> But the engagement, engagement was fantastic. The engagement was going crazy. The engagement was crazy <laughs> on those. But like the other aspect that you have to balance on being, if you want a sustainable career in social media, is like yeah. your brand image. Like you don't want to attract a negative brand image. So like how you present yourself out there can truly affect like brands and the companies who want to work with you in the future. So that's something that I'm also a little more aware of now. But yeah. I care 
not too much about. I just want to, I on this podcast want to be as true to myself as possible. And I think, yeah, generally my true self is presented. Well, I think well so. taken, I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same with you <laughs> and Andrew. Especially Rachel. Like we're not super controversial people. No. Yeah, I think I think what I appreciate about all of us is that we try to be like very unbiased or like mm. we try to listen to w- a lot sides. of different perspectives yes. informing our opinions instead of like being like die hard ones. Yeah, side. but we also avoid super controversial like subject. Yeah, I also like I don't know. I I feel like there's already so much of that on the internet. It's like Yeah, we don't what need point any more to contribute this? to this space. Yeah, and, and it's toxicity. also like Yeah, it's super toxic. I don't know. It's it doesn't feel super productive either. Mm-hmm. It's never productive. Like mm. arguing over the internet only polarizes people more, mm-hmm. I found. Yeah. Like it doesn't because the algorithm, the, at all. the algorithm, the algorithm just pulls yeah. you down a rabbit hole. Yep. Yeah. yeah, the algorithm loves polarizing people because people love being polarized. That's so true. I don't think I've ever been convinced, or never seen it successfully convince people of things like people yeah. talking about controversial things on mm-hmm. the internet or like debating about things on the internet. It only works in like real life. So have these conversations just in not person. behind a keyboard. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. there's yeah. that accountability yeah. of yeah. having a person in front of you and yeah. being like. And oh, this is a real things, person. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. actually affect mm-hmm, people mm-hmm. and like hearing their life mm-hmm, experiences, yeah. what led up to them developing yeah. the views that they have. Yeah, real. I think a lot of people have tried to set up platforms where like people with opposing views That's can true. actually come together. Like the Omegle. Jubilee. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? I was thinking like the Jubilee Project. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Omegle? <laughs> what the hell? Some people do that. They just like like what to debate on Omegle for fun. That's not in person. That's I know. So Omegle. Like, no, just so kidding. <laughs> This but episode's actually a plug for Omegle. <laughs> <laughs> Bridging the gap. <laughs> Omegle. No. Um, That's true. I feel like I actually haven't seen many of the Jubilee Project videos, yeah, but the two sides ones. Yeah, they'll yeah. like bring people with Middle polarizing ground. views ground. That's what and it's like literally have them like just have a conversation. Yeah. yeah. Depending on the episode, it's hit or miss. Like some people yeah. come to yeah. like a, a compromise but other times it just like pushes Higher. people further away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. But that's also what happens in like real life conversations. That's so awesome. that's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a really great conversation. Thanks for adding that to the discussion. Oh, you're board. welcome. Well, it was discussion mostly board. just because I felt so awful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think Thursday. you're doing fine. You'll and, be fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you also <laughs> want to go to grad school. So I don't, I don't know why you want to yeah. return off. I mean. Obviously, you want. It, well, it heightens my but, like chances of working there in the future. Well, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah. I'm putting. Back 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 I like years. need to lower, like, bring down my expectations right now because before my internship started, I was like zero expectations. Whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to mm-hmm. set high expectations mm-hmm. and then have them shattered. And yeah, now, like, after lovely. meeting yeah. all the people that work in my department, like, I have so much respect for mm-hmm. them. Like, my expectations, are like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with, um, like, how happy you are mm-hmm. with your mm-hmm. with Yeah, your I think, like, it's been really nice because this whole week I've just been talking to, like, subject matter experts uh, in my department. The That's the yeah, thing. and it's, like, I'm just, like, so inspired right now. I'm, like, People wide are deeply knowledgeable eyed. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, like, they care so much. And it's so yeah. inspiring to hear about, like people who care about creating like positive changes in the world Mm -hmm. and like the work that like the tangible work that they're doing to get to that point Mm -hmm. um yeah yeah, i'm very inspired at this meeting i I really like the one thing that your manager said about like if you don't love your job then don't make a career out of it or what did he say like your job should be something that you want to spend your time doing yeah not something that you want to avoid or leave early Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 Yeah, and I think that's especially true. I think, true. like, wow. there, that one's, like, a tricky one because it's, like, you should have work-life balance because you need to care about yourself before you can care about right. broader Your issues. Family. I agree, um, but... Your work yeah. should be about issues that you care about. Yes, 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 yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, you can yeah. care about multiple things and you should care about multiple things and attend to multiple things, especially mm-hmm. when it comes to self-care. But mm-hmm. if the thing that you spend the majority of your life doing is towards an issue or towards a cause that you're not passionate about, I don't think you should be doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> or like the ma- the vast majority of your time and effort should not be directed towards that. Mm. Like, I think it's fine yeah. if it's like you're passionate about something, but like realistically, you cannot live off of like the amount of money that you're getting from that. Mm. Yeah. Um, so yeah. as long as you're like 
putting a lot more like time and effort into things that you actually care about, then I feel like that makes it worth it. Agreed. All right. Um, was that Karina or your neighbor? Mm -hmm. That was my neighbor. Oh, okay. How long have I been running for? Uh, an hour now. So okay. let's wrap this up. Um, thank y'all. What? We need to help Korean get stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll go. We have to set up for yep. the pate. I'm so excited, but I'm so tired. I might need to take a nap before everything uh, so comes together. Um, all right, let's uh, check out. Yeah. To yeah. Sign out. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this episode of the Rooftop Pod. Um, I am your host, Jesse, and signing out with me is my sister, Rachel, and my brother, Andrew. And we will catch you on the next episode of the Rooftop P -p 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 Pod. Peace. Peace. I'm so ready for air horns tonight. That's the one <laughs> thing. <laughs> oh, I need to download air horns onto here. Imagine if I just whip oh out gosh. the air horns. There I can so program that in Oh my in gosh, there. the DJ last night. Insane oh, yeah. use of the air oh, horn. Oh, <laughs> just like, like, <laughs> 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 so funny.